Okay, how are we? We're going to start right here. Yeah. Yep, we're going to just start. They can ask a question, and then if there's anything at the end that we missed, we can ask you more. So. All right. Yeah, so. right here is the Oh, you're starting. Hi, Madeline. Yes. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? So I'm going to start it off really simple. Um, how do you like being in Houston? <laughs> 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 Um, no, I like it. You know, I, I just came from Dallas. It's really dry and really hot there. It's a bit more humid here, but I'm from Chicago, so I'm used to the humidity. Um, if you ask people in Dallas what they think of Houston, they're like, Ew! Yeah. So what do you guys think of Dallas? Ew! Yeah. So, I think it's, it's, you know, it's all right. I'm not, it seems a little bit prettier here. But I agree. I do like me some Dallas is a little crazy, but, you know, it's, it's you know, different. So, so I do like it. It seems greener, more green. It is. Well, so we're transitioning into the fall. What styles do you foresee? What's the must have? Everything is wardrobe. That's a lot of questions. <laughs> the must have piece, I mean, I don't, you know, there's a, there was a lot of shearling done on every single runway in the fall. So, you know, shearling, whether it's faux, real, whatever your proclivity is, I have no judgment. I don't care. I eat meat, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, and then, really, a lot of bright color was on the on the uh, ball one. It's like super, super saturated. Not brighter than that. <laughs> so, so I think that which is fun. You know, it's it's fall. It's just way more fun. It's still it gets cooler. It doesn't. It gets cold here, right? So you guys. Forty degrees a little bit. Yeah. Oh, wait. It, it gets it get that cold. Really? Wait, in Dallas? I was in Dallas, Dallas in the summer. It was freezing. Dallas, Dallas gets cold. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, but we do so have those times. Here. <laughs> so wait, what's how cold is it now? About like 40. I would say that's probably oh, like 35. Awesome. I mean, that's yeah. cold, but not often. Yeah, not. But last this last winter we had a, like a really weird like cold front almost every other week. Yeah. It was weird. Oh, all right. Well, you could wear fur. Yes, we still oh, yeah. do. <laughs> and they come out. And, and everybody, we do. It's cold. Yeah. Everybody busts out the fur. Exactly. All right. Well, I really, oh well, you know what? They, but they do have great jeans. Actually, believe it or not, well, not believe it or not, yeah. it's a Gap. Of course, they've got great jeans. There's a great denim motorcycle jacket that I think is super cute, and then there's this cute little boucle jacket that's very Chanel-esque. That's quite adorable. But there are great jeans. There's a white denim jean that's distressed a little bit, which is kind of cool. And then there's all these different. I love the jeans because there there's no embellishments on them. They're very simple, and I've been wearing Gap forever and ever. Um, and there's ones that have these, like, you know, they look like there are patches here, and then there's some that seem to be have like they were taken out on the side there. So there's just a little bit of something going on. I'm not into overly washed jeans and distressed and like I, if it looks fake, I don't like it. So, but I don't care if it looks vintage, but it like looks like it could really be vintage, and that's what these jeans are. Um, what else is there? There's a cute little sweater that's embellished that uh, I like. Um, there's a lot of there's like rag, like these Raglan varsity jackets that are cute. It's a black jumpsuit. Okay, turn it down. Come on, can you get them to turn that down? Um, okay. What celebrity would I love to style? Uh, Marilyn Monroe. You know, Audrey Hepburn. Movie stars. None of these. No, you know who I would love? You know, honestly, I, Rihanna is fabulous, incredible. I love her. Like Emma Stone. Like girls that love clothes and fashion. You know, that, that get it. You know, they both seem to really get it and they're into it. Like it, there's nothing worse than someone who thinks that they're, that, that, you know, could have anything they want in the world and they're just not into it. Or has bad taste and is confident in their bad taste. Like that's the worst thing in the world. So, either of those girls. Love you on fashion. Please. Well, thank you very Watch much. You all the time. Thank me you. Up. Um, what's the one tip you would give any woman that's going into her thirties? That's going into her thirties. Yeah. Into her thirties. Yes, girl. Yes. Well, <laughs> you're still young. Keep, Already keep in her. dressing young because you're still young. I mean, I think that when you're in your twenties, you try to dress a little bit older because you want to, you know, seem older. But then once you get not to your thirties, but like mid 30s you know there's like a flip that happens yeah. and you if you still dress older because you think you need to look more sophisticated you're going to end up looking like you're 50. so there's something that happens where when you get around you know like 38 something like that like look at jennifer aniston if she dressed the way that she dressed when she was in her you know 30s or 20s she would look childish or not sexy so you've got to have to sex it up a little bit but not too much not real housewives that's not <laughs> um 
So did that answer your question? Of all time. Like, Do I have a worse dress? That's loud. Do you really need this? Nah, no. Okay, sorry. I thought that was going to be like right here. <laughs> um, that just sticks out your head. A worse dress that sticks out my head? Uh, you know what? Honestly, I really don't. I don't. Like, I don't. I'm not. I don't really focus on that. A lot of. I love fashion and I love people to look good and I love women and I don't really. Like, my. I don't like to. I'm not like waiting for someone to look bad. Like, I, I don't. I kind of block it out. So, you know, I mean, I could give you the easy ones that are like, you know, Lindsay Lohan and, you know, whoever, but that's just, like, redundant in a way, like, and why kick a girl when she's down, you know, like, so I don't really, I'm not, I, I, I tend to not answer, not that I don't answer that question, but I just don't, I don't care about the worst dressed people. I care about the best dressed people. <laughs> uh, we're talking a lot about kids back to school and teenagers or college back to school. Do you have any styling tips for teachers going back to school? For teachers going back to school? Or professionals? Oh, um, I don't know. Play. You know, I think it's like, yeah, I don't know. I, I always thought that it, you never think of your teachers as real people. So, you know, if they have some fashion sense or some, you know, a way to, like, identify with, you know, keeping it young, I think that's always great because I would always, I would have noticed that. Like, you kind of know, oh, wait, my teacher's, like, kind of cool. Yeah. You know, my, my um, niece, is a or my niece, my cousin, is a teacher, and, you know, she's, like, how old is she? She's 26, and she teaches, like, great, like, junior high in, in the suburbs of Chicago. You know, and I mean, we go out, and I go out partying with her, and I'm just thinking, like, if her student, like, she's hot, <laughs> I'm just thinking, if her students see her dancing with, you know, her girlfriend, I mean, not, she's not a lesbian, but, like, her girlfriend. Yeah. I'm just thinking, they, it must have blow their minds. Because I would never have thought that in junior high, thinking like that my teacher was a real person, you know, who actually did things. Right. So I don't know, I would just say keep it, you know, just try to stay identical. I mean, to me, music is the fountain of youth. Like if you even, you know, just kind of keep relevant in music and fashion. And if you kind of keep relevant with music, you kind of keep relevant with fashion. And I'm not saying, you know, to dress like a child or like a teenager, but right. just kind of know what's going on. Otherwise you become, you know, that old person that's not, and I'm 45, so I speak from knowledge. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so how would you describe your own personal style? Um, oh gosh, you know what, I have different, like my style on the show is one thing, and then there's like my, you know, this is more, like I would wear this with sneakers. I wore, I wore you know, nicer shoes, because I'm with you guys today. And I wore a t-shirt only because it's friggin' hot. Um, I don't know. It's a little preppy, grungy. You know. I don't, you know what? Honestly, I, I've been wearing crazy clothes this summer on fashion place, like head to toe prints, which I probably tell people not to do. But I just figured, you know what? It's summer, and I don't care. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? I'm just like whatever. I don't care. And if you want to make fun of me, make fun of me. But because um, usually with guys, I say keep it to one statement piece. You know. Whereas I was wearing two, which is my pants and my jacket. And with ladies, ladies can do two major you know, statement pieces maximum. Otherwise, you look, you know, which is, you know, not crazy, but you just, you're make, you're looking for attention, which is, you're looking for attention, which is fine, which is totally fine, by the way. No, no, yeah, that's, that's great, like because you, put, you look, you, you know what, you it's have the only fun. One. You have fun, and you're having fun, and it looks like you're having fun. So that's great, but I'm saying, like, some, you know, some people don't want that. Some people just want to, you know, but, and I <laughs> applaud anyone, even going back to the worst dress thing, if you're making an effort to get ready, and look, try and look pretty, and you're trying to look glamorous. Even if you don't succeed, I still love it. I think yeah. Yeah. Okay, George, love the laugh. Thank like, you. On, on it's TV. totally fake. It's, no, it's not. It's so genuine. It's I'm like, not. it makes me laugh. But question. So what are your thoughts on the big fashion, the whole fast, you know, the... Fast fashion. Oh, Mick Fashion. Oh, I don't think I've heard of that. I like Mick Fashion. That's right. Fashion. Uh, that's good. Uh, I like it. You know what? I mean, I, I think that, you know, when I first I started working in fashion 20 years ago, and um, fashion, you know, it didn't exist. It, it existed, but I was an associate fashion editor at the New York Times Magazine, so it was, I worked in fashion. And um, then everybody glommed on after Sex in the City, and everyone's fashion, 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 and which, you know, the word just drives me crazy at this point. But, um, you know, you couldn't find them. H&M, I, I, you know, the first time I went to H&M was in Paris. There was no, you know, that's where it was like, oh my God, what is this place? There's these things that look like Prada, and they fit me, because you couldn't find them anywhere. And I was just, you know, I was young, I didn't have any money, so 
Um, you know, I think fashion it's made it's it made it's made it so it's available at every single price point. And I you know I don't think look if you have the money and you want to go spend a fortune at you know Prada or Gucci or whatever you can, but you can also find that at Gap Factory. You know you can find it at H&M, you find it at Zara. So it's all you know. I, I just think it's it's it's, I, it's available. It's made fashion available at every price point. I think it's great. Groupings. One is, I mean, it is denim heavy, obviously. It's not even that denim heavy, but it's denim. I wanted to put a lot of denim. Because denim's, you know, who everyone, like, we're all wearing jeans, pretty much, for the most part. We're all wearing jeans. So one is, like, kind of sporty, athletic, you know, but still slick. And then the other one's more, like, blacks and neutrals and camo and things like that. So, um, what else is in there? Lots of skinny jeans. There's a jumpsuit. You'll see. You'll just have to see. You'll have to see. Hi. Hello. Hello. So I'm What would you say that you had to do? I don't know, they just asked. They just asked me out one day. They said, do you want to go on a date? And I said, okay. <laughs> Armando's like, what's he talking about? You know, I've, I've been wearing Gap for as long as I can remember. And, um, you know, ever since I was in junior high or grade school. So I've always been a, a huge fan of the brand. Um, and, you know, it's just one of those things, how do you, you know, what do you say no? It's like, it's the Gap. I mean, I'm in Gap ads. Which is, you know, if I thought I didn't move to LA to be a celebrity and be famous, or I'm not an actor, I didn't do any of that stuff. So just to be in a gap ad, it's like I remember in 1990 I moved to LA, and that's when they did. I think is that when they first started. Armando, is that when they first? That's when they first started doing like the Cindy Crawford and Naomi Campbell like, on the ads. You know, and, and and they were incorporating celebrities into it too. But it was just a big deal, like you know, to be in a gap ad. So I'm in a gap ad now. <laughs> Oh, to know what the hell they're talking about. Yes. <laughs> because I think unfortunately a lot of people say, I'm a stylist, I'm a stylist, I'm a stylist. And they don't know who the designers are, they don't know who the players are, they don't know who Anna Wintour is, you know, which you know, they probably all know who Anna Wintour is. But, um, you know, they don't know who, that, who Nicholas Gaspier is. You know, he's the designer at, you know, at Louis Vuitton now. He's the designer of Balenciaga for 15 years. If you don't know that, you should not be a stylist. Um, and I think you also need to know how to dress every shape, size, age of human being. And if you cannot do that, you are not a stylist. Like, any, anyone can dress a 25-year-old size zero. You know, like, anyway. And that's why I said Emma Stone, because it's easy. It's easy. You could have anything you want in the world for that girl. You know, she does, you know, eat anything she wants. You no, know, at any time that she wants it. So as a stylist, that's like your dream because it just makes it so much easier. Like you don't want anyone saying no. You just want to call, and that's why I was when I worked at the New York Times. Nobody said no. No one said no to me. Like you wanted that Chanel outfit, they overnighted it to you from Paris. The next day you pass. Which is crazy. Those are the days. <laughs> someone and I'm like, okay, that is an evil person. I really, then I just don't care. But, it, you, know, it's, you know, look, if, if something didn't look right, then I, I'm just giving my honest opinion. And if that stylist asks me, they ask me if they get offended, they get offended. I mean, I'm not being a dick about it. I'm just doing my job. And that's, if I don't do my job, I wouldn't be sitting there for week. Um, so those actually give me less anxiety because those are on the fly. Those, that's like guerrilla, you know, tactics there because we're up pretty much very late the night before and we, we just show up. So there's really not much preparation. It's just like what, what I see is what I'm doing. To you know, maybe look at things the night before, but um, it's just moved really, really fast. As opposed to our regular show, which you know we have our book in advance and we kind of know what's going on. And I try to find talking. I you know I like to have takeaways. So 
the, the viewer at home would be like, oh, I should mix these. If I'm going to mix prints, this is how I do it. Or if I'm going to wear, you know, a jumpsuit, this is the way I should do it. Like that. Okay. Well, everyone, ask questions. Like, all the fashion questions. So I'm going to ask you. Because I'm a huge Trey Songz fan, so I want oh. to know how it was to have Trey Songz on. Oh my God! Wait. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. Oh. We have so many guys. Okay, well, what was he wearing? One? <laughs> you know what? Oh my god, I don't even know. You know who is the guy? Oh my god, what's his name? Shit. <laughs> he, he's the turn down for what? What's his name? Oh my god, I'm drawing a blank. Lil John. Lil John. He was funny. He was really, really funny. Um, god, who else was great? I don't know. That's when people ask me, like, what are Joe's favorite jokes? And I'm like, I don't no, she makes me laugh every week. I have no clue. But I liked him. Oh, God, I wish Ryan was here. Um, God, who this is great. Um, you know, it was fun. like Jamie Preston was on the show, and I was surprised at how she was very knowledgeable about fashion. Like she knew what she was talking about. You know, I was like, wow, oh, she knows what she's talking about. Um, God, who else was on the show? You know, Brandy was on the show. She did not have a good time on the show at all. <laughs> she was clear. She was not having fun. <laughs> but she made me laugh. <laughs> when Joan asked her if she was coming back, and she, heard it, she just jumped in. She's like, no, hell no, I'm not coming back on this show. And it was like, I just was, I literally almost on the floor laughing hysterically. Because it was, I think I knew she was serious, but it was funny. <laughs> Um, I don't you know who else, like Chanel Mon, you know, you know, one of the girls in the in the uh, is, is uh, she's on the show, she's great, she's hosted a couple of times. Um mm. oh, yeah. Rihanna. Oh no, you haven't been on the show yet, Rihanna. No, I've interviewed her twice for the show though. I love her. She's fabulous. She's incredible. So did we miss anyone? Were there people in the show?